This latest incident in Roanoke is part of a string of events in recent months, including today's incident at Lucy Addison. This year, guns have been brought to E.C. Glass High School, William Fleming High, and Halifax County High. And these are all of the areas that we've had these incidents. Two people were also in possession of a stolen gun on Appomattox County High's property. And just last week, shots were fired at a Roanoke City school bus. All of these events are raising safety concerns. 10 News reporter Tim Harfman is working for you to learn the advice your children need to hear tonight and how you can protect them. Tuesday's shooting at Lucy Addison Middle School marks the fourth incident in our region in one week. Authorities say a 19 and 20 year old were arrested and charged Monday after bringing a stolen gun on the grounds of Appomattox County High School. A Lynchburg student was arrested Thursday for having a handgun inside the Empowerment Academy. And last Tuesday, a bullet hit a Roanoke City school bus with students on board. On top of that, students reportedly brought guns to William Fleming and Halifax County High Schools last month. Thankfully, no injuries were reported in any of the incidents. We need to look at why are they bringing the gun, how did they get the gun, and what was their purpose for bringing the gun. Marco Galbraith has more than two decades of law enforcement experience and spent the last dozen years teaching firearm safety classes at T4 Tactics in Lynchburg. One incident of bringing a firearm to school can change their entire life with, with a felony or, or worse. He says it could ruin any future ambitions. A lot of firearm charges don't go away. You know, they can always dig and find them, and that, that could uh, affect them from, from having a good job or going to college or playing sports for the rest of their life. He believes it ultimately circles back to responsible gun ownership. There's a lot of laws where gun owners can get into trouble, legal trouble, criminal and civil, because they failed to secure their gun. He says gun locks and safes are affordable and will save lives. Bottom line, black and white. There's no gray area in that. It's, it has to be, it's got to be controlled and locked up. Possibly preventing a crisis in the classroom. In Lynchburg, Tim Harfman, 10 News, working for you. To read up on all of these gun safety risks posed to local schools this year, visit our website, WSLS.com.